I want to take a moment and talk about the most common swing fault that I see. This golf game can be very, very difficult, but we make it harder than it has to be. This is the club face, and this is the golfing ball. All you have to do is hit the center of the club face with the golfing ball, and congratulations, you will hit a straight shot. But it can be way more complicated than that, so let's dive into it. When you take a good grip and you set up to the golf ball, in the center of your stance, there is only one reason why the ball is going to go left to right or right to left to left-handed, and that is going to be an open face. The open face is by far the most common swing fault for amateur golfers, and most golfers who really kind of struggle to play to break that 90 level, because once you start consistently being able to control the club face, Breaking 90 will become dramatically easier, I promise. What is the fix to that, and how did I fix it myself? It is important to note that the wrists are going to control the club face. You see, I'm not moving my arms, I'm just moving my wrists, and I am manipulating the club face. So when you do record yourself on the driving range, because that's where I want you to start, I want you to look at two main things, and that's gonna be club face, and hand position relative to the ball. First thing is club face. What I want you to notice as you take the uh, club back, ideally you're going to see this leading edge match my spine angle. That is going to be called a square face. If you see this leading edge being up and down like it is right now, congratulations. Your face is now open. You can tell by the cup in my wrist. An open club face will make the ball spin away from you regardless of how hard or how soft you swing the club. It'll make golf really, really hard. If you are a hooker of the ball, you're probably going to see the club face way aimed down towards the ground. We want it to be aimed along our swing arc. So one more time, we're going to focus on the initial takeaway of having that leading edge matching our spine angle. As we bring it back, it's going to open up a little more relative to your path, not towards the golfing ball itself. What I mean is your wrist structure is not going to break down. This right here would be a uh, square club face while this would be open. If you're recording yourself down the line at the top of your swing path, if you see a lot of the back of the club, that's how you know it is going to be a very open face. If you see more of the leading edge, congratulations, that's more square. And if you're seeing a lot of the front of the face, that's an extremely shut face. These are checkpoints that you must see in your swing while recording it to ensure that you can deliver it with a square face. After that, after the top of your backswing, you're going to swing it down. Ideally, you're going to see this club be more perpendicular with your spine angle. Now, if you're a little steeper, that's fine. If you're a little shallower, that's fine. What do we not want to see? We don't want to see a left arm parallel, this club shaft being perpendicular to the ground because that means that you're going to have to come over the ball, across the ball, which is going to lead to the open club face and a big slice. So, back now we're about to deliver the club to the ball. We want to ideally see from here, this club face leading edge beginning to aim down. You notice the common theme here? And ideally, from the camera down the line perspective, this club shaft matching up with our forearm. That's how we know we're going to be on a good swing plane. Now, the most crucial part of the swing, getting delivering the club at left arm at club parallel. You want to have your leading edge, your envelope, going to be even with the golf ball. At that point, you are going to have. Once again, this leading edge matching your spine angle. This is going to allow you to rotate through the ball, have handle forward. Once again, something that I struggled with at first. Once you are going to be, even with the golf ball, and this is even with your spine angle, you are going to simply rotate through. One more time. I'm not even moving my arms. Rotate through with my body. Hands are now forward of the golf ball, and leading edge is now going to be straight and perpendicular to your target line. That's how you hit the ball straight. One more time after. If you are very steep and you are very bubble Watson-y, 
the more vertical your club is through impact, that's going to yield a more across the ball pattern, yielding more of a cut. That's, and you notice like when Tiger Woods hits, hits those low stingers, the lower you finish in follow through, that's gonna help yield your more uh, drawing pattern to the golf ball. So ideally, through impact, we're just gonna see a nice and neutral exit path for yourself when you're hitting these golfing balls.